Today's Whiteboard Wednesday, and I want to talk to you about where we are in the legislative session. We're trying to pass bills, and I want to show you how we pass bills, not just in the Senate, but in the legislature. How bills become laws. We do not have a musical background. I wish we did, but there's only so much we can do while we're in the session. So let's take a bill in the Senate. Bill comes into the Senate because I or one of the other senators file it. We'll call this Senate Bill sub S, indicating it's a Senate bill. Why are we using this little subscript? I'll show you in just a second. Because after I file the bill, after the bill gets referred to committee, after the committee hears it and likes it, after it passes out of the committee and goes to the Senate floor and the Senate hears it and likes it, it passes, and now it's a Senate bill called SBS. It then goes over to the House. It's easier to draw the House than it is the Senate. Over there, I'm going to call it, as, actually it's not SBY yet. This is very complex stuff. It's got to go over to the House, and then it's got to be referred. So there's some people in charge over there in the House, and they take the Senate bill and say, we're going to refer it to the right committee over there in the House. And there's a bunch of committees, and that committee is going to consider it. So it goes to committee, and the committee might or might not hear it. They're very busy here at the end of the session because thousands of bills come through. And if they don't hear it, it dies. If they do hear it, they either like it or they don't like it. And if they don't like it, it dies. If they do like it, they will send it out of committee to something called the Calendars Committee. What does Calendars Committee do? Very, very powerful stuff because they decide if it's going to be heard, will it make it onto the House calendar? Because only if it makes it to the House calendar will it be voted on. So if the Calendars Committee is not too busy and they're really, really busy with thousands of bills, They'll refer it, or they'll set a calendar date. If they don't get to it, it dies. If they do get to it, they set it for a hearing called second reading on the House floor. That's where we have the big light board, 150 members are gonna vote for it. And if those 150 members vote on it and they don't like it, it dies. If they do like it, it goes to third reading the next day. And if by the next day a lot of people haven't made phone calls and talked people out of it, or if they do make phone calls and talk people out of it, and they don't like it on the third day, it dies. But if they like it on the third day, it passes the house and comes back, and now it's no longer SBS, it's now SB, Senate Bill H. Now it's the House version of the Senate Bill. But what does it look like when it came back? Does it look just like this one up here, or is there some little stuff stuck to it? or something cut out of it. Those things are called amendments that came over from the House. Now I, as the author of the original Senate bill, I'm looking at this thing saying, hey, I don't like these amendments. That's not even the bill I liked in the first place. And if I really don't like it, it dies. If I still like my bill, notwithstanding the amendments, I can say, okay, I, I, don't, I don't really like it the way it is, but let's work on it. And then the Lieutenant Governor will appoint a committee called a Conference Committee. And the bill goes up there. And we appoint people from the House and the Senate to talk about it and see if we can come to an agreement on a final product. And if we can't come to an agreement, it dies. But if we do come to an agreement, and I say, okay, this is good. I can live with this. I like this. I might even like it better. I then send it to the Governor. And the Governor either likes it or if he doesn't. And if he doesn't, it dies. And if he does, it becomes a law. As you can see, we have a lot of work to do between now and May 27th. I hope this uh, explains to you a little bit of the process we're going through. And if you're curious, you're always welcome to call our office and learn more about it and where things are in the process. Thank you for listening.